However the name of Jesus seems to cut right to the soul. Many do not like his name, not because of their supposed critical thinking or education, but ultimately because he exposes their sin. As like a mirror being held up to their faces, to show their real flaws. Something makes this so-called religious leader more contentious and convicting than all the others combined. What is it? Unlike any other widely followed religious leader in history, only Jesus Christ made a divine claim. He revealed himself to be God. Not a God. Not God-like, but God incarnate, the creator of the universe in human flesh. Intellectually that's disturbing. Spiritually, that's the most liberating thing that could ever happen to humankind. But, the world has a right, even an intellectual obligation, to reject the religious folder all that is so prevalent, and to demand reality. So was Karl Marx correct in his appraisal that, religion is the opiate of the masses? Certainly. Religion emphasizes precepts, propositions, performance, production, programs, promotion, percentages, etc. The Gospel of Christ emphasizes the person of Jesus Christ and his life lived out through the receptive born-again believer. Religion has to do with form, formalism, and formulas. Ritual rules regulations and rights, legalism, laws and laboring. The good news of the Gospel is that it is not what we do or perform, but what Jesus has done and is doing in us. What did Jesus say on the cross? It is finished. The performance is hereby accomplished. The Lord has done all the doing that needs doing for our regeneration, and continues to do all the doing that God wants to do in us. Philippians 2.13 For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And Matthew 19.26 with God, all things are possible. Some have tried to explain that Christianity is not religion, it's a relationship. Such a statement is too ambiguous, for it is possible to have a relationship with religious folks and practices. Although true Christianity does indeed involve the personal relationship between an individual and the living Lord Jesus, it must be pointed out that this is effected by the ontological presence of the Spirit of Christ dwelling within the spirit of a person who has received him by faith, and the Spirit of Christ functioning through that believer's behavior. It is not just a casual relationship of acquaintance with the historical Jesus or with the theological formulations of his work. Perhaps it would be better to indicate that Christianity is not religion, it is the reality of Jesus Christ as God coming in the form of his spirit to dwell in man, in order to restore him to the functional intent of the Lord whereby the character of God is allowed to be manifested in man's behavior to the glory of the Lord. That's a mouthful, but that's just what it is. Christianity is not religion, period. Christianity is Christ. Christianity is Christ in unity. Jesus Christ did not found a religion to remember and reiterate his teaching. True Christianity is the personal spiritual presence of the risen and living Lord Jesus Christ, manifesting his life and character in all believers. Paul explained, Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 